Hey guys, I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo23. I know for a fact my viewers love sniper rifles, just all of them in general. Whenever I do a sniper video or a DIY video or just a review in general, they get so many hits and people love to comment on them. So today I'm going to show you how to get to the inner barrel of the UTG L96. Uh, a lot of people have re requested one of these videos and I finally got around to it, so enjoy guys. So here we have the UTG L96, pretty basic gun. Now to get to the inner barrel, you do have to take it apart to the bolt assembly and barrel here. So just go ahead and unscrew these two screws with an Allen key and then we can get started. All right, now we have the weapon down to the barrel and bolt assembly. Now you can go ahead and take a really small Allen key and find the little Allen key screw here, unscrew that. Now to do this, you're going to need a 1.5mm Allen key. This should be the smallest one in whatever set you have. Once you've unscrewed that, or loosened it, go ahead and unscrew the entire barrel counterclockwise. So once that's done, you can go ahead and throw your bolt assembly aside. Well, don't throw it, but you know what I mean. Set that aside. All you're going to need is the inner and outer barrel from now on. All right, once your barrel is outside of your bolt assembly, you can go ahead and take a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew the small Phillips head screw just in front of the mag catch. Once that's off, you can set these aside. You don't want to lose those. That is a definite do not lose. Now your hop up and inner barrel are free. You can go ahead and push those out, and they'll just drop out. Now, normally you're going to have like two or three foam washers that are about the dimension of the inside of the outer barrel fall out with your hop-up. Um, sometimes they get stuck in there. So if they get stuck in there, I recommend either using your cleaning rod or some kind of makeshift item. I actually used a coat hanger, a metal wire coat hanger that I modified a little bit. I was able to fish them out and it was really a pain. It took me like an hour to get them out. The foam rings are just a really bad way of providing space between the outer and inner barrels. It's just really inconsistent and they tend to stick in there. Uh, they can be stuck in an angle in there so it's hard to put your barrel back in. The best way around this is either to buy some Polar Star or Lalax barrel spacers. Those run about $20 or $25. They are one of the best stock investments you can make for this gun. So let's go ahead and take apart the hop-up chamber. Now a lot of the older ones were a grayish color or silver. This one's actually black. I feel like it's a harder metal. Less, uh, it's harder to strip the metal itself, so that's pretty good. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a 2.5mm Allen key and unscrew this screw. This is the hop-up adjustment screw. So every time you take apart the, the chamber, you're going to have to de-adjust your hop-up. So every time you reassemble it, you're going to have to adjust your hop-up again. So you might have to realign your scope or something like that. It can be annoying, but you just have to get over it. Once your screw is out, you can go ahead and push down this small arm here and remove this hop-up bracket. This is what will ultimately adjust the hop-up. It pushes down on this arm here, which puts pressure on the bucking and gives your BB spin. Now, there is a little spring on this plastic hop-up arm here. Don't lose that. You don't have to remove the spring or the arm itself. There's really no need to do that when you're disassembling the hop-up chamber. All right, the next major thing you're gonna have to do is remove this copper bracket here, it basically screws into this longer shaft. So what I like to do is take a pair of either needle nose pliers or channel lock grips and just unscrew it. It'll unscrew counterclockwise. So once you have it going, it unscrews pretty easily and that should just fall off. Now you can set the copper bracket aside and pull your bucking and everything else out. Now this is going to be what the end of your barrel looks like, where the hop-up and everything is. It's going to have this metal little bracket here. Mine is stuck on there. I'm not going to take it off right now. 
You're gonna have your bucking. This thing is proprietary, so if it rips, you really need to go buy like a Laylax chamber or something that can take standard AEG hop-ups. I have not seen replacements for these, so either upgrade or basically replace your entire gun if this thing tears or rips or dies in any way. I noticed there are some uh, rips on the outside of this, but it should not affect performance. There's also a small plastic bracket here that fits onto the barrel itself that will prevent the bucking from sliding forward too far. Now when you put this bucking back on, there is no real notch that sits at the bottom of it like standard AEG buckings, so you kind of have to guess at it. Just kind of guess where the little uh, indent is here for the part that pushes down on the bucking, and kind of line that up with the barrel opening. So this is probably the most annoying part is the reassembly. This little washer does not really fit very well into the chamber, it just kind of sits on a notch at the end. So I think the easiest way to do this, to reassemble it, is just to set it on the end of the bucking and put the hop-up chamber over it like a sleeve. Alright, once you have all that back on, you can go ahead and take your little copper bracket here, slide that onto the end of the barrel, and screw it into place. I'm going to make sure this thing is tight as possible, but make sure that everything is still aligned. All right, now you can go ahead and install your hop-up adjustment bracket here. Just kind of adjust that onto the need to. Hold the bar down and press it into place. It should kind of lock right there. Make sure you have this little lip here facing out from this larger part of the chamber. Now you can install the hop-up adjustment screw. And you've reassembled your L96 hop-up chamber, hopefully successfully. Now the next step involves reinstalling your inner barrel and chamber into the outer barrel. Now if you still have your barrel spacers this can make it a little easier, if you have upgraded ones it's really easy. But if you're just using the outer barrel and inner barrel and those spacers, this really is kind of a difficult thing. The easiest way I have found to do this is to take the cleaning rod that comes with the gun. Because it's about three feet long, it'll fit really well through the outer barrel. What you want to do is thread that through the end of the outer barrel, the little massive orange plug on it, feed it into the outer barrel, and sort of use that as a guide so it'll match up with the plastic plug. That way everything will align and it'll be just awesome and sexy like that. Once your hop-up and inner barrel have been reinstalled in the outer barrel, go ahead and take your mag catch and the small screw that's in there and line it up with these three little oval style notches just in front of the large notch on the outer barrel. Now, it is kind of annoying getting the little screw oriented correctly, but it is doable. Go ahead and take your little Phillips head screwdriver and simply screw that into place. Now you can go ahead and rethread your outer barrel into the bolt assembly. There are a lot of threads on this, so it takes forever. Once you have it screwed back in and aligned, you can take your 1.5 millimeter Allen key and tighten the small Allen screw right there to keep your barrel locked in place. And that's pretty much it. You've just disassembled and reassembled your L96 barrel and hop-up assembly. Wasn't that hard, was it? Yeah, it's a little hard. Uh -huh. Alright, that wraps it up for this DIY video. I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo23, signing off.